what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotica sloti and today we will discuss again on something very important what is today's topic today's topic is the most benefic of all planets yes finally we'll discuss on benefics from now <laughs> no more discussion on malefics no no we have to discuss both <laughs> because the dynamics of both the benefics and malefics are important for our spiritual growth otherwise we will not proceed ahead in our spiritual journey that is why there are malefics and there are benefics also if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and watch it till the end and if you are interested in doing some donation for the sustenance of this channel then the link to paypal is there in the comments and if you have any questions queries or comments regarding any other video or if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comment section and if you want a personal consultation with me then approach me in my email or in my whatsapp it is there in the comments now before beginning as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there <laughs> Now, if you read the BPHS, Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra, there the word benefic is explained. Benefic means anybody who benefits you. Benefic means anybody who benefits you. <coughs> who is your benefit? Who is a benefic? Maybe your friend, <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> Your father may be a benefic, but he may not be. <laughs> Your spouse may be a benefic or a malefic. <laughs> malefic means that which derives you from benefit by giving you challenges, etc. That's what is the meaning of a malefic planet. And the traits of benefic planets are that they give you things very easily. That is why Parashara uses the word Somya. Somya is the word which is used. So Somya means that which happens very easily. With grace, there's a lot of beauty, enjoyment, fun, positivity, productivity, all these things. These are the traits of the word Somya. So Somya means that things happen without much difficulty, without much struggle, without much challenge, with grace. <laughs> Therefore, the four planets, Moon, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, are referred to as benefics, 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 which benefit you. Now, among these four, Moon and Mercury are conditional benefics. Actually, they are conditional malefics also. That is why they are called conditional planets. It means they are neither malefic, neither benefic. Which means that they behave as a benefic or a malefic depending on the planets which they are situated with. If they are with Jupiter or Venus, they will perform well. Well doesn't mean good. It means that their original nature of being a benefic will be expressed in a much better way. And if they are with malefics like Saturn, Rahu, Ketu or Mars or the Sun also, then the negative traits will come out of moon and mercury yes therefore we only have two planets remaining now one is jupiter another is venus and parashara says venus is the most benefic it is even more somnia than jupiter also but the question is <laughs> why is Venus getting exalted in the sign of Pisces, in Jupiter's sign? <laughs> Venus is definitely the most benefic. But one thing you have to understand. Benefic does not mean it will always benefit you even spiritually. Should I repeat? Benefic doesn't mean it benefits you spiritually also. Well, Venus is a benefic. It benefits you spiritually on an ultimate level how 
because when venus is exalted because it is placed sixth from libra should i repeat libra is the mool trigon sign mool trigon means what the planet is made of ultimately so when venus is exalted it is in pisces because venus gets exalted only in pisces <laughs> therefore if venus is placed there if you count from libra you get six houses yes libra scorpio like this you count you get six houses so that means venus exalted in pisces is not very greatly placed from the mool trigon sign <laughs> what does what do you mean by this that venus is not greatly placed from its mool trigon rashi well it simply means that venus will have some disappointments when it comes to the traits of libra disappointments disappointment doesn't mean libra which is the sign of marriage union sexuality coming together of people contracts deals negotiations the person can feel that i am somehow not able to get happiness out of all this because from libra it is as if sitting in a enemy house because sixth house is the house of enemies and what do enemies do they deprive you from your happiness that is why they are enemies and you fear them yes you fear them means from the sixth house the lagna is the eighth house so there is fear and hatred fear and hatred is always simultaneously there <coughs> eighth house is the house of fear sixth house is the house of hatred racism all this comes under the sixth house racism is what basically hatred <coughs> therefore whenever venus is exalted the supposed so called benefic the most benefic i mean <laughs> then it is not very conducive for the sign of libra because now when we say of taurus and libra we have to take the case of libra because libra is primarily what venus is libra is the mool trigon sign which means taurus is although a sign of venus but venus is primarily representing relationships rather than luxury food wining dining etc because you share those things with people then only you find more happiness that means that whenever venus is exalted even if you try to indulge in materialistic things marriage sexuality luxury love romance beauty you might feel there is something lacking now you will say oh my god what you are saying you are changing the dictum of parashar muni venus is exalted means great marriage do not tell like that just because venus is exalted it doesn't mean you have a great marriage oh my god <laughs> then what does an exalted venus do exalted venus is the best thing to have in the chart because whenever venus is exalted you will realize very soon that you will not get happiness in these material objects and then because pisces is the sign of spirituality you will try to go towards god suppose if venus stays in libra itself that is probably the worst thing to happen oh my god venus in libra is worst what is this person telling this controversy he is controversial he is speaking lies he is changing parashara's dictum no i am not changing anything <laughs> venus as a planet wants the traits of libra that is why libra is the mool trigon sign but it does not get fulfillment there do you understand there is a difference between wanting something and finding fulfillment should i repeat there is a difference between wanting something and finding fulfillment <laughs> just because you want something and you are good at something doesn't mean you will find fulfillment there for example venus likes to be in love romance delights luxury relationships partners honeymoon <laughs> but it does not find fulfillment there that is why it goes to the sign of pisces otherwise it would be exalted in the sign of libra yes now you take mercury's condition mercury gets exalted in own house in virgo <laughs> yes mercury has gemini and virgo and mercury gets exalted 
Mercury is the only planet which gets exalted in its own house. Can you imagine? <laughs> that means Mercury represents money. So we never want to give away money. <laughs> we want to hold it because Mercury wants to stay in its own house. I will, uh, no, 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 I will not give it, man. <laughs> but that's not the case with Venus. Venus doesn't find fulfillment in Libra. It does not mean that in Libra it's miserable. In Libra it simply means that you can have good karma related to relationships depending on other factors in the chart. I have seen Venus in Libra performing terribly also. There are other things which has to be seen. But it does not find highest level of fulfillment. What is that? Actually Venus is thought of as sexuality and relationships but it is not true. I will tell you what Venus is. Venus actually represents the desire of the soul to be happy. Should I repeat? Venus represents the desire of the soul to seek happiness. That is the trait of Venus. And where does it find happiness? It finds happiness in Taurus, in luxury, in mundane things, materialistic things. And it finds happiness in Libra. So it is the desire of the soul which is coming. It's the desire of the soul to enjoy in this world. But that is the predicament. <laughs> when it goes to Libra, from the sign of exaltation, also it is not well placed because from Pisces, Libra is the 8th house. So that's what is the predicament with this planet. <laughs> so Venus, although gets Multricone in Libra, it goes to Pisces. That means it ultimately finds its highest fulfillment in spirituality, in divine wisdom, in God. Otherwise, it will not find it. So Venus in Libra, people I have seen, depending on other placements, even if they, they, they may have great relationships, but ultimately after some time they come and tell that my relationship is good, it's okay, but somehow I'm not happy, I'm frustrated, I'm bored, I'm empty, I don't feel like living. <laughs> it is not a problem of the relationship. Their relationships with people have reached saturation. Means how much ever good they can get out of people, that's it, that's end. That has ended, that has finished. So they do not have a quarrel with the person, with the partner. They are not having quarrels with their uh, spouse. They are not having that. But still they are miserable because Venus is not exalted. And when it goes into exaltation, then it goes to Pisces. So the exaltation of Venus can only happen when the frustration arises from Libra. <laughs> because unless you are frustrated with Libra, you will, frustration is the sixth house. So when you are indulging too much in Libra, which is what? Love, romance, sexuality. And then you are frustrated. Then you automatically go and ask somebody, is this all the universe is? No. Love, romance, man, woman, sexuality, movies. Is it all or there's something else also? And then you find God. <laughs> so that is the place, Pisces is the place where the soul will find its highest fulfillment. Yes, that is why it is the exaltation. So finally you will understand that although Venus is the most benefic, but it will only find happiness in the sign of Jupiter. <laughs> so that means Jupiter is a bit less benefic than Venus as per Parashara, which means that Jupiter can give you some struggle or some lesson sometimes, which you don't want to learn. <laughs> Saturn will teach you lessons with a stick. My God, it will rip you right, left, black and blue. <laughs> Jupiter is not like that. Jupiter and Saturn. The difference I told in one video, the difference between Jupiter and Ketu. If you have not watched that video, please go and watch it. It is in this playlist only difference between Jupiter and Ketu, you will uh, realize what's the difference there. But to be very precise, the difference between Jupiter, Saturn and Ketu is Jupiter represents, see, as, as I said in the video, I'll just repeat, there are four classes of people, four classes of learners, I would say, how people learn things. Yes, the first way of learning is by hearing, Shabda Praman, Shabda Brahma, which is said in the scriptures, which is the finest way of learning. 
which means you hear from the sages the gurus the scriptures the wisdom that okay this is good this is bad you should do this you should not do that you should not take alcohol you should not take meat you understand you're like okay okay okay, okay. i've understood that's first class then there's second class of people who do not understand by listening they need another level of conviction which is which comes to, through the eyes so these people even if they hear that you should not do this you should not do that but they are still skeptical maybe it will not happen to me but suddenly they will see okay their friend was drinking from 6 months and now his liver has spoiled he is going to die so then they are like oh this person he had problem na okay okay that means i should not do it that is also very good way of learning because you are not harmed by that only thing has happened is you didn't believe but at least you are not suffering somebody else is suffering it's very good to be there also at least but there are some people who do not belong to second category then there is third category third category means <coughs> you hear you see but you still don't understand you think you are an exception to the rule should i repeat no 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 it will not happen with me i am an exception to this as in hindi they say मेरे साथ नहीं होगा ये <laughs> मेरे साथ नहीं होगा नहीं सबके साथ होगा इट विल हैपन विद एवरीबॉडी यस यू कैन नॉट बी एन एक्सेप्शन टू लॉर्ड विष्णु क्रिएशन इट्स सम हाउ इम्पॉसिबल दैट यू बी एन एक्सेप्शन देर फोर यू डू नॉट लर्न फ्रॉम सींग ऑल्सो फ्रॉम हियरिंग यू गेट एक्सपीरियंस देन वॉट यू सी नो 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 लेट मी ट्राई एल्कोहॉल then you try two three times then you get addicted and then you are like bang on you are fired from job because you always go late your wife has filed for divorce because you are coming and beating her <laughs> and then you are like oh my god what's happening in my life i need to give up alcohol so these people will learn from beatings and that's what saturn represents jupiter represents the first two class of people saturn represents the third class of people third grade <laughs> and then there is another fourth grade fourth grade people they have heard they have seen they have experienced still they don't understand as in hindi they say hum kabhi nahi sudharenge hum kabhi nahi sudharenge hum sudhar hi nahi sakte <laughs> that's what is the predicament of these people the fourth class people and they come under the planet ketu and ketu is headless headless means suddenly he will be ripped apart suddenly one day the doctor says oh you are drinking from 10 years you are having cancer you are going to die within 15 days and then you are like what in the universe can you do it's like the head is not there you are dead why am i talking of all this because jupiter can give you some lesson sometimes but venus will never give you any lesson it will give you lesson only if you try to go towards spirituality otherwise venus is not a so called benefic because perhaps it is the worst planet <laughs> because that is venus has the rulership of libra where the sun gets debilitated the atma feels like dying what is libra what is sun what is sun in libra sun in libra simply means that the atma the consciousness have got entangled in materialistic affairs sexuality love romance and then the atma feels highest level of disconnect from the higher authority the supreme lord god that is why sun gets debilitated in libra not because okay these people have inferiority complex low self esteem those are all there but you have to understand why sun gets debilitated in libra so therefore venus although is a benefic it can only behave as a benefic unless we have the element of jupiter in us otherwise venus will give you suffering because if venus is not well placed then libra will have troubles which means sun will behave as if it is in libra that is why you see when people are tormented in relationships people are tormented by sexual desires how miserable their life becomes my god 
it is like they are dead only they are just living <laughs> worst form of addictions pornography prostitution then different perversities come up yes so finally what is the conclusion venus is the most benefic provided jupiter is strong in your chart but what if jupiter is not strong make it strong read the scriptures chant mantras hear from the divine sages go to satsang go to the uh, sunday program which is there in the church even if you are a hindu you can still go there you can just hear what jesus said or you can uh, whichever religion appeals you whichever religion you feel will be contented for you whichever way whichever organization you feel that i can identify very much with the purpose of this organization you can go there and then you can rejoice spiritual wisdom spiritual knowledge and therefore by that you can conclude that jupiter is the most benefic of all planets and that is why it is known as guru because guru is one who takes you to vishnu and what is the meaning of the word vishnu the word vishnu has several meanings uh, one of the meanings is vishwa anu vishwa means the entire universe anu means one who is present so one who is present in every nook and corner of the universe that is the meaning of the word vishnu another meaning of the word vishnu is vish refers to poison and nu means one who removes therefore vishnu is the one who removes the poison poison of whom poison of rahu and ketu our desires <laughs> there you see and it will also help the sun because sun gets debilitated in the sign of venus so before you tell venus is the most benefic understand in what context it is said all right that is it from my side the most benefic of all planets it is jupiter undoubtedly and it can be venus if you strengthen your jupiter yes that's all from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then let me know in the comment section and if you are new to the channel then subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with your family and loved ones ultimately next time bye bye see you